Football Club, Mike Bassett. Thank you, thank you very much, and thank you to our Chief Executive, Mr Johnson, and of course to our Chairman, Sir Denzel. It's uh, whoa, great to be home, fire away. Mike, you've been a Wirral fan since birth, and your father played for the club. How do you feel about this place? <laughs> Where do I begin? There's only one club I've ever dreamt of managing, and this is it. Well, this and maybe Manchester United. And I've always had half an eye on the uh, grasshopper of Zurich as well. Next. Yeah, Mike, you lost the England job following a disastrous Euro qualification campaign. L look, we've been over this a hundred times, son. Haven't we? Everyone knows there's no easy games at international level. And Liechtenstein are no exception to that. You were then sacked from Newcastle after taking them down in consecutive seasons. Yes, but I left them in far better shape than when I found them. In what way? Well, it's reduced the wage bill by half for the start. Well, only because the best players left. Yes, I know that, but what exactly is the point you're making? After that, you were paid off by Norwich and Colchester. I mean, what makes you think you can be a success here? Because this is my town. This is where I come from, isn't it, lad? God has me a port in me veins, literally. All that pollution from the Stanlow sulphur plant, and I tell you what, I'll move earth, wind and fire to get this club back up there where it belongs. Next. Uh, Mike, do you have a message for the literally dozens of Whittle County fans up and down the country? Of course I do. I say be proud. Look at what this area's given to the world. The Manchester Ship Canal, John Prescott, Thomas Crapper, the inventor of the modern flush toilet. And of course, leave them steps. So to all them Whittle County fans who've lost hearts over the years and drifted off to the big clubs like Manchester United, Liverpool and Wrexham, I say come home. The good times are winging their way back to Whittle.